with the idea of doing the album, I was like, oh, I should go and write it in Suffolk, where I'm from. I met Danny Monk through Idris Rahm, a saxophone player who I work with. We went for a drink, and Danny was talking about a tape machine that he'd just bought and his enthusiasm for the medium of tape and recording and that he wanted to go away and do something in an unusual location. So we ended up in Suffolk, where we are now. Um, the doctor thing, actually, that comes from the fact that the last time that I went to a doctor, I think I was 16. So musically, uh, oh, musically, it's got a little bit of Afrobeat. It may not be uh, completely obvious, but um, it uses this, like this voicing that they always use in Afrobeat. It suits the space, man. It really suits the space, that tune. But I think I'm gonna go to a doctor. I'm still feeling the same. If I could get to the bottom of what's been bothering me, then I could make my schedule much more orderly. So, one of the main reasons I like to record with tape is actually the sound of it. And there's a lot of cliched terms when it comes to recording with tape. It's warm, it's got more depth, it's got a vibe. There's something about not only the sound of the medium that we're recording to, but what it does to musicians. It, I feel as it sharpens them up a bit. Most of the records that I listen to, a lot of them were recorded on this medium and it's hard to shake off that sound in your head when you're recording something yourself. I'm not sure if, you know, James Brown ever went to a barn, but I'm pretty sure he recorded in places that you might not look at and consider a studio <laughs> just off the bat, you know? It was all about finding the unique character of a space. And the whole point of recording in somewhere like a barn is you can't get a barn in London, you know? Um, it's just getting that big, that big sound solves all your problems that you have with recording in smaller rooms, such as uh, studios in London. Samuel that day left the school on his bike. I've just realised that Harbour is, yeah, fundamentally like you could say, oh, it's coming from the Zimbabwean tradition of Imbira music, someone like Thomas Matfumo. But also rhythmically, Gaka, the, the triplety nature of that tune, the triplet thing, it also happens in English folk music. That's an interesting thing. I'm doing a song that's got a little bit of English folk in it. It's got a lot of Zimbabwean folk. And yeah, there's a connection there. Well under troubled skies Down by the harbour Just some old folks wrapped in coats Wrapped in coats I thought, how am I going to finish the album? It's got to be something about going home. So the lyrics in that are, you can, you know, you can punch me and bite me, kick me in the head. Um, pull me and push me until I'm dead. I mean, in a way, it's really good because it's like I've worked out um, that I've got this relationship to this place, partly through doing this album. And also, I think melodically um, and rhythmically, it's quite light. And then you put those darker lyrics to it, it works quite well. But now I'm here.
I think I need to go to a doctor is is actually right.